Hello once again from Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. It's time for me to present to you a book that I very highly recommend. And today's book is exceptional. It is a coffee table classic. It is Innocence and Seduction, The Art of Dan DiCarlo by Bill Morrison. This is published by Fantagraphics. And I'm going to give you uh, two prices because I'm in Canada. Now the US price for this is $65. The Canadian price is $90. And it is three, 278 pages and 278 classic pages. Uh, if there was ever a book that um, I would want to keep and you know not give away to somebody, it would be this one. Uh, Dan DiCarlo, um, I read a, a lot of the Archie comics back in the 60s and uh, it was great, great artwork and I didn't realize, of course, that you know you don't usually look at the artist's name and Dan DiCarlo was the artist and he's an exceptional artist but uh, he drew m much more than for the Archie comics. Uh, he also at one time did some artwork in Millie the Model Sherry the Showgirl, Jetta, um, so many more. And he also uh, worked with Stan Lee, um, the, f well, for the Timely Comics group. And uh, Timely Comics also did um, sort of adult-oriented cartoon books, um, like Humorama and things like that. And um, he, Dan DiCarlo, has to be one of the most underrated uh, artists out there. And as you will see in this book, it tells the story of Dan DiCarlo. Um, he served in the Second World War. He was sent overseas. And there, uh, he went on a blind date. He met a lady, um, Josette Dumont. And she became his wife, and they lived happily ever after. And so, in fact, she was the inspiration, her name, for the Josie and the Pussycats that he was a major part of creating. And uh, in this book here, it's, it's, it's an amazing book. It's got a lot of his artwork here. I can't show you every single page. I don't have the time. But it's got classics of, you will recognize it if you were a fan of Archie Comics at any point in time. Uh, definitely you would see Dan DiCarlo's artwork either on the cover or inside the pages of the comic books. But he's had a most interesting life. He also drew Sabrina the Teenage Witch, another which became a TV show. And there was a lot of controversy uh, almost to, close to the year 2000 when Josie and the Pussycats became a movie. Now um, Dan DiCarlo um, basically did not have the rights to his characters and the artwork. So he had a lawyer go to Archie Comics and say that he should be fairly compensated for, you know, the popularity of the movie and the continuing popularity in the comic books. Well, Archie Comics uh, thanked him by terminating his employment after more than 40 years. Like, you talk about you know, getting the short end of the stick. Uh, he brought them so, you know, so much recognition through his artwork and they thanked him by terminating him. And, but uh, others um, sprang to his defense. DC Comics hired him uh, to do some artwork. Um, the comics which featured the Simpsons of the Simpsons television show, he did a lot of artwork for them as well too. But there's also a lot of tragedy in his life. Two of his sons, uh, he only had two sons, and they died within uh, a year of one another of um, either stomach cancer and one had a stroke. So it's really a sad life, but he did live a full and wonderful life, really. Uh, and thanks to his um, artwork in books like this, which are, is just amazing, his artwork and legacy lives on and on and on. So if you're looking for a classic, you don't have to be a lover of Archie Comics. If you're a lover of comic books in general, this is just, um, I can't say enough positive things about it. Can you tell I'm a little excited about the book? Because I am. 
because it is a book that you will want to look through again and again. Uh, this is some of the work that he did for the you know um, adult cartoons, and this is just exceptional. So uh, if you go to your local bookstore, have a look for this book. It is worth every penny. Like I said, it's sixty-five dollars U.S. a bargain, ninety dollars Canadian, another bargain. Go look for it. So hopefully you do agree with my review and you will purchase the book. If you do, let me know. And I think you'll agree with my uh, review of it that it is a classic. So thank you for watching my video. Hopefully you'll be back again for my next video, which will be coming very soon. Until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.